All right, y'all, welcome back. I'm gonna be sharing two new soup recipes with y'all. Soup weather is finally here. I mean, we eat soup all through the year, but you know, it's much better when it's cool outside. All right, so here we go. We're gonna start with the Southwestern soup. I'm gonna go ahead and tell y'all about them. This one surprised me. Once I started making it, I wasn't quite sure that it was gonna be a winner, but it was. It was the favorite of both of these soups, and I kinda made it up. I mean, I saw a recipe that I got the idea from, but I didn't have everything that the recipe called for. I switched up some things that the recipe called for. I added things that was not in the recipe, and it turned out great. I mean, Titus really loved it. He said, definitely make that again. So, the next one also surprised me, the lasagna soup. It surprised me because I thought it would be the favorite, but the Southwestern soup was the favorite. They're both good though. Here we go. We're gonna go ahead and start with the Southwestern one. Is something wrong with your overalls today? Oh. He's figured out how to unsnap them. That's the only thing that's wrong with them. <laughs> okay, y'all, we're getting everything cleaned up from school this afternoon. I organized this cabinet again yesterday when I was putting the groceries away and people already had the bread out of place. <laughs> I need to label it. Bread, red basket, different things. I still have a little bit of stuff from lunch to clean up over here. And we were gonna go outside for just a little bit, but it looks like it's about to rain. I'm gonna go ahead and start some chicken in the Instant Pot for the soup that we're making tonight. We're gonna do the Southwestern soup, and we need chicken for it. The recipe called for canned chicken, but I decided to go with fresh chicken instead, but you can totally use canned chicken. Huh? What is it? That. That? That's the Instant Pot. Well, oh, you want something to eat out of it? Of course. Oh, there's nothing in there, see? It's empty. You want another snack? You want a yogurt? Okay. okay. All right, I helped Manny get a snack. Now, we're gonna get this chicken in here. So yeah, you can use canned chicken, that's fine. I'm just putting a little bit of chicken broth in the Instant Pot. And we're gonna use this big pack of chicken tenderloins. I'm actually, you know what? I might just make the whole soup in the Instant Pot. I think I will. We'll just cook the chicken in here, remove the rack and shred it, and add everything else in here. We're gonna Instant Pot this soup. Yes, we are. Since we're already putting the chicken in here and everything anyway, we might as well. It's definitely a nice day for soup. Okay, so that's all we'll do for now. Just the chicken broth and the chicken. We're gonna cook it on high pressure for, I'm gonna go eight minutes since this is chicken tenderloins. I don't think they'll need any longer than eight minutes. So what's all gonna be in the Southwestern soup? Different things. Yeah. <laughs> what I'm trying to figure out is, is, uh, is it gonna be like meat? It's chicken, like chicken, corn, uh, beans. What if you could do it with ground beef? Could, but I already got the chicken cooking and I'm making lasagna soup with ground beef or some other time. Okay. All righty. Okay, love you. Okay, I went ahead and got out everything else we were gonna need. I forgot one can of tomato soup though. I need two of these. I also need some frozen corn. We're gonna go get that out of the other freezer and seasonings and that's all we're gonna need. the chicken is ready. I'm just gonna leave that chicken broth in there since we're gonna make this in the Instant Pot because we need to put a little chicken broth anyway. And I think I can shred this chicken just right here in the Instant Pot. Sure can. It's done. It's tender. Already smells good. It's just chicken and chicken broth. So we've got the chicken shredded. Now we're gonna put in one can of black eyed peas drained and one can of light red kidney beans drained one can of dark red kidney beans. It's almost like we're making chicken chili, chicken chili soup or something. That's what this is seeming like. <laughs> now I have to get the can opener for the rest of them. I love those pop tops. We're putting in a whole can of Rotel, not drained. We'll go ahead and stir all of this together. Now we're gonna put in some tomato paste, half of this little can. And now we put in the soups. I'm making more than this recipe called for, and I'm also changing up a few things. Um, I think I'm gonna need two cans of this tomato soup, but this is the family size can, so I may only need one. We'll see. See what we can fit in here, because it's already looking pretty full. So we put this one can. I'm not gonna add any water, because we have the chicken broth in there. Let me stir this up and see what we're looking like. Yep, we're gonna go ahead with the other can. 
Okay, I think I'm gonna add just half a can of water. We're gonna put in some of this frozen corn. I'm not gonna be able to get too much, but we'll go we'll about that much. Now, for the seasonings, we're just gonna put in some salt and some pepper and a whole pack of taco seasoning mix. All right, that's it. Lid's going back on. We're gonna put it on soup for 10 minutes because everything in there is done. We just need to heat up the stuff, you know, that wasn't heated up yet. That's it. Okay, y'all, we finished eating. The Southwestern soup was really good, and I was really surprised. I did not think everybody would like this. I thought a few people would like it, but everybody loved it. It's almost like a chicken chili stew type soup. I don't know. It is really good. Titus and the kids were requesting that we definitely have this again, and I made so much, we have enough for probably a whole other meal. <laughs> It filled up a gallon freezer bag. I doubled it. It's in two bags, and I'm just going to stick it in the freezer. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to another soup day. Tonight, we're going to be making lasagna soup. I'm going to start by making the ground beef and the Italian sausage in my iron skillet, and then we'll transfer it to a big pot. I have one pound of mild Italian sausage, and I'm gonna put a pound and a half of ground beef. The recipe only calls for a pound, but y'all know I usually make a little extra, so I'll have the original recipe down below for y'all though. This is a four and a half pound pack of ground beef. I'm just gonna put about a pound and a half in here, and then I'm gonna put the rest of this in the freezer. That's probably a little closer to two pounds, but that's fine. I'm looking on my meal plan. Do I have another ground beef recipe planned this week? No. Okay. Yeah. It's going in the freezer. <laughs> if I had another ground beef one planned, I would just keep it out and make it tomorrow. I'm starting this a little early and I could probably put it in the slow cooker. Yeah. I think I'm going to do that. I have time to let this go into the slow cooker for a couple of hours. So that's what we're going to do. I'm just going to let it simmer on the stove. But I think I'm going to go with the slow cooker instead because I don't know if my big black pot is going to be big enough. The slow cooker is a little bigger. I could get out that big giant stock pot that, you know, reaches up to the microwave, but we'll go with the slow cooker. So while this is cooking, I'll go ahead and be getting everything else into the slow cooker. First though, I almost forgot we need to put some onion and garlic in here with the Italian sausage and ground beef. Manly is enjoying his fire truck this afternoon. <laughs> And he's got the little fireman in there and says it's daddy. Is daddy driving that fire truck? Yeah. Over here in the slow cooker, we're gonna spray it. We're gonna put in eight cups of chicken broth. Ooh, my lid was not on there good. I splashed a little chicken broth everywhere. I'm just gonna leave this out in case I need a little more since I do have more meat. All right, now we're gonna put in this one can of Hunt's fire roasted diced tomatoes. I'm gonna put in one can of tomato soup, but we're not gonna add any water in the can, just the soup, because we have all this chicken broth and everything in here. We need about a teaspoon of these crushed red pepper flakes. I'm just gonna eyeball it. There we go. Two tablespoons of Italian seasoning. Some salt and pepper. That's it in there for now. Back over here with the ground beef and Italian sausage, we're gonna put one can of tomato paste. All right, so now we'll move this over to the slow cooker. Mama. Marshmallows? Okay. You know what, this is not marshmallows. These are cotton balls. Tyler's helping me um, look at the Christmas stuff since we'll be decorating in a couple of weeks. And these were up on top of the closet over there and he thinks that they're marshmallows. These are the marshmallows. You want one? Yeah, Mom. Oh, okay. <laughs> the 
The last thing we're gonna do is put in some rotini pasta. We don't need this whole box. This is 16 ounces. We just need about half of it. And that is it. We're gonna cover it. It's gonna cook on high for two hours. All right, y'all, that's gonna be it for today's video. Let us know in the comments what is your favorite soup? Which one are you cooking the most this soup season? And if you're looking for some more soup inspiration, I'll have some videos linked down below for y'all. 